When I was a kid, this used to be my favourite place in the whole world. I think this would still be my favourite spot. That's because you haven't been anywhere. Oh, so where's better than this, then? Paris. Place Dauphine, right by the Pont Neuf. If I shut my eyes now, I know exactly how it feels to be in that little square. Well, so let's go. We could get on the Eurostar right now. You don't get it, Clark. I want to be in Paris as me. The old me. There she goes in front of me. Take my Tell me something good. Use the time he's got left. Show him how good his we'll life can be. We've barely left the house in two years. We have tried. Yes, but we haven't succeeded. Will needs to be allowed to feel like a man. Can I take you somewhere? You are so going on a date with Will Trainer. It's too baby. Get the red dress out. We'll make a memory out of it. Lose the scarf. If you're going to wear a dress like that, Clark, you have to wear it with confidence. Only you, Will Trainer, will tell a woman how to wear a bloody dress. Move closer. <laughs> you smell fantastic. <laughs> You know you never would have let those breasts so near to me if I was in a wheelchair. <laughs> yeah, well, you never would have been looking at these breasts if you hadn't been in a wheelchair. Well, what? Of course I would. No, you wouldn't. You wouldn't. You would have been too busy looking at the leggy blondes, the ones you can smell an expense account at 40 <laughs> bases. And anyway, I would have been over there serving the drinks. One of the invisibles. Am I right? Yes, but in my defense, <laughs> <laughs> I was an arse. <laughs> yep. <laughs> You know something, Clark? You are pretty much the only thing that makes me want to get up in the morning. And let's go somewhere. Anywhere in the world, just you and me. What do you say? Say yes, Will. Go on. OK. It's got to get easier and easier somehow. I can't. You can. You can do anything. All the things that someone else could give you. I have become a whole new person because of you. <laughs>